Fnatic versus Navi. Um, and they are live by the looks of things. Um, have you, you can get the IP off for HLTV, Chewy. So I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, run us through this round. And well, not a bad way to introduce himself to the stream. Olaf with the uh, crisp headshot onto Guardian. Navi do find themselves ecoing, and the fact that it's 1-1 tells me that Navi won the pistol round, and Fnatic out of nowhere must have managed to uh, win the anti ant anti buy round, must have managed to win their eco round. So that completely stopped Navi's econo economical situation. Apologies about Chewie's noisy keyboard, but here we go. Crims with the M4 kill onto Zeus. So far, so good from Fnatic, showing Navi exactly how to uh, anti eco. There's nades flying towards mid. They're uh, all sticking together, and this is the thing about Cash, it's all about the mid control. But Starix is uh, going to be playing like a ninja here. He drops one, but one's not going to be enough, leaving Seized as the last man standing. And let's wait and see if Seized can seize the day. He's got oh JW. God. What? Don't, oh my god. Seized, see, if Seized can seize the day. That's genius, mate. It's just another one of your terrible jokes. But I, I like them because they're just terrible that they become good. So it's like they're so bad that they just become funny. But I'll, I'll give you that one. That you know was what's funny? Quick. You twerking. Well, maybe if we hit 10,000 followers on the stream today, then maybe so. Come on, 10,000. Come on, boys. I mean, even in before somebody have... bots the followers or something. <laughs> even if you don't have a Twitch account and you're just you know a normal viewer. Make a Twitch account and follow, because we all want to see Chewie twerking. I mean, I, I, I checked his ass out at G3, and trust me, you want him... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, this Hashtag is just getting go worse and yeah, worse. Honestly, it's going to be one on, of those Come on, come on, come on. Let, let's, let's, let's be professional now. Let's, let's do now. this properly. So, I'm in the game. I saw it now, and I'm actually live, so that's good. I'm at the same stage as everybody watching at home, and uh, Edward's going to get cleaned up any second here um, by the looks of things. He's the last one left alive, and yeah, by the looks of things, it must have been Na'Vi taking that first pistol round, and then Fnatic taking the eco if everything went to what the score looks like. So Fnatic are going to be 3-1 up now. No casualties in that round. Only JW knocked down a 30. 4 HP, so they are going to be more than happy with the situation here. And uh, you know, talking about the map a bit, I haven't actually casted Cash that much, but it's my favourite map to play. And uh, you know, it's one of those which I feel can either, you know, can, I don't know what's the best way to describe it, but it can go either way pretty quickly, in my opinion. You know, as soon as somebody starts to get that uh, that ball rolling and the momentum swinging in their favour, it just it, it's difficult to bring it back on. But that's just my opinion, really. And here we go, Guardian at mid, spots Olaf, he is going to fall back, no, they are going to push him, down goes Edward, but look who it is, Guardian stayed and held his ground as he gets pushed by JW, he's managed to put him on only 7 points of health, and somehow, both JW and Guardian still live to fight another day. <laughs> I do indeed. So, Paranax, nice shot there, it's going to take down that, now who is that? Uh, shocks. Who would that be? I'm trying to think now. The second Sorry. Zeus is. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, of course. Zeus is going to finish down JW though. So this is already looking good here for the CTs. And we do see Fnatic actually stacked up onto that B bomb site. Lovely smoke going down there just to shut Zeus off. He's going to try and put shots down range, but won't connect. And as you can tell, the bomb has been planted. Crims. Knocked down to 34 HP. Still a 3 on 3 situation. That's a lovely kill from Guardian. And is the retake going to be real here for Nardis Vincere? They need to get that round on the ball as soon as possible. Lovely shots coming in from Crims to make things a 2 on 2 situation. In comes the push onto the bomb site. Crims gets his second, but it's all going to be left up to Guardian and Flusher, respectively, on both teams to try and do something. Flusher picks up the final kill. And that's going to be 4-1 in favour of Fnatic there. And I thought Na'Vi actually stood a real good chance of taking that round there. And that was important for their economy because having a look at it now, it's pretty poor once again. So this should extend Fnatic's lead to 5-1. This is a bit of a laggy go TV, isn't it? It's sort yeah, of like the kill comes bit. in and then there's about half a second before the player actually goes down. It's really confusing sometimes. But anyways, here we go, guys. Fnatic still with guns. Um, Navi on the other hand, if you ask me, I think they're missing a bit of Markaloff. I mean, Guardian probably the best author in the game. But still, you need more than Guardian to uh, save you from a situation Ooh. like this. JW, lovely AWP shot from him. Crims is going to drop Edward. And uh, the Ukrainians are going absolutely nowhere other than back to where they started, back to their spawn. And Guardian, let's be honest, he's not going to do much here. 
I think Navi have been having a bit of an off day because I was watching a stream earlier on when they were playing, and please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, stream chat, but I believe they were 9-1 down on Mirage before the issue started to occur. I think they were about 9-1 down, and uh, they were really struggling there, and everybody was wondering what the hell's going on with Navi, and, you know, and why is this happening, and, you know, you would have thought then coming into a you know brand new game, brand new map against a brand new team here on on Cash against Fnatic, and after taking that pistol round, that that could be the start of you know things changing, and that they could start to pick up their game after a disappointing game against Titan earlier on. But as soon as Fnatic took that eco round, they'd not looked back, and Navi have actually gone for an auto sniper and an AWP here. So we all know how expensive they are, and once again, this is going to be another crucial round if Navi want to start coming back into this game before Fnatic run away with it. Yeah, I have a question for you, not now, I'll ask it here at the end of the round as that nade goes over. Doesn't deal too much damage though. JW falling all the way back to T-spawn and we can see how important the mid control is here. Seized with two already before JW, no it's going to be Crims, oh! oh! Crims on the A bomb site and well he's he's put in, he's opened himself, a, he's put himself a welcome mat on the floor. He said, right, don't worry guys, I've come all the way from LGB into this Fnatic side and I want to show you guys on Kyanite and Chewy's stream why they picked me up. He's going to get three, you know, there it is. Brilliant Counter-Strike from Crims and well, Starix is stuck between a rock in a very hard place now with only an AWP in hand. They're just going to flash him, they're going to nade him, they're just going to try and eradicate him and it wouldn't surprise me if we see JW um, get the frag with his own AWP. But wouldn't it be nice to see Crims finishing off the round in style after already picking up three so far in round number seven. JW's going to peek out with that orb. And is he going to find him? I'm not sure if he is. The player is actually going to be the first to find him. Will be Flusher any second. We'll see though if they are going to meet up with each other, the bomb's going to explode in not too long whatsoever, and it looks like he could be hiding, and he could actually escape, so he should be able to keep that orb. But, you know, regardless of the fact that he's kept that orb, let's put things into perspective here. We said right at the start of the round that they bought an auto sniper, and, you know, they'd spent a lot of money this round, and still, Crims just shot them down virtually single-handedly, and Fnatic pick up their sixth round in a row. So, so what was your question? I wanted to ask you, you said you like cash, in your opinion, yeah. because some people weren't too sure about it. Do you think Cash is T-sided or CT-sided? Again, I don't want to get like a load of hate in the chat for this, and I, and I, because I you know yeah, I different people have you, different opinions. I will protect I, you. <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't know. Like it's, I think it's almost one of those maps that changes. Personally, just for my playing style, when I play, I prefer it on um, on T. But then I know a lot of people prefer it on CT. And some games I'll play better on CT than I do T. I guess that's the same for a lot of people. But personally, I just prefer the way that the map is let out on, on T for me. But then again, I'm a pretty bad player. So I wouldn't take that opinion into account really too much if you're deciding for yourselves, guys. And Chewy Twerk is still in the stream. <laughs> it is, yeah. I told you, man. We're all hungry to see it. Anyways, here we go. Crims is... Uh going to get even more frags before Starix comes big. Nailed in the head by Crims yet again. And ladies and gents, Crims is on fire. I've said at G3 that for Fnatic in the games that I watched of them anyway, Crims was the standout player to me. Obviously relatively new to the roster along with Olaf Meister joining from LGB. And uh, he really, really impressed me and just became one, you know, on his own and just was absolutely outstanding at G3 from what I saw. I don't know what his final rating or anything was, but as I said, he really impressed me, and he's really impressing me here once again on cash. The second, he's sitting at 12-0-3, and, and we're only going to be heading into round number 9 in a second. See, he's going to find one player there, so that is Crims going down. And he's on 22 HP. Looks like he's trying to go for the defuse. Pronax has found him, though, and what's he going to do? He's going to shoot him right in the back. Seized goes down. The bomb will blow up. But they are going to survive their Pronax. Not down to 36 HP, but it's not going to matter too much. And Navi still with only one round on the board here into round number nine. And they're going to start to force things up. We talked about this before, Kainite, right, about how, you know, when you see those Galils and those Famuses start to come out on players, you know that they're struggling for economy and they just want to try and get some frags on the board if possible. But I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Fnatic are too strong. And people asking about Epsilon. Um, we just finished that game. Epsilon won 16 nil. And hello, it's the arguably CSGO's best AWPer behind Kenny S, or maybe on par with Kenny S, getting the opening frag. Flusher is going to get flushed down the toilet by Starix. And Navi have themselves a small advantage going into this round. They have, they are one man up. 
Edwards gonna push Pronax. Pronax caught with his pants down. And Crims is all eyes on the A-bomb site. Nice shot there onto Edwards to shut him down. It's a two versus three situation, and this could be the start of a Navi comeback here. It's not quite over for them yet. Guardian's going to get smoked off there and tries to get a shot down, but Olaf Meister switches up the situation, and Crimson's going to get another one as well. It's the two former LGB players going absolutely huge here on the A bomb site, and they've shut Navi down. They are low on HP though, so this still isn't past Starix. If he just puts a couple of shots down range, it's going to finish them off. It won't happen though. Olaf Meister, we know how great JW is with that orb, but still Olaf Meister is one of those players who can still pull off some crazy shots with it from what I've seen of him so far. And 8-1 is your score. And that should have been around for Na'Vi there. They had such good control and then just they lost the kills, weren't able to convert, and they're going to get punished kind of because they're down to pistols once again. Yeah, and that's the thing when you're on the more expensive CT side. You finally build up enough money to actually buy the big guns. And then when you have a round with the big guns, if you fail to capitalize on it, but, well, Zeus is, uh, he wants to prove me wrong. He's saying, Kainai, we don't need big guns. We're capable of doing it with the CZs and the Desert Eagles. But it is going to be the Swedes who are going to quickly stampede in towards this A-bomb site. Guardian's going to try and hold them off with the Desert Eagle. Can't do it. Pronax and JW both getting on the score sheet. But Edward has picked up an AK-47, so who knows, Chewie? Who knows indeed, lovely shots there from Starix into JW, going to stop him in his tracks. And Zeus is actually down to 4 HP, so he's got to be careful. Zeus is going to go down there, Olaf Meister with a headshot onto Starix, and he's going to get another shot onto Edward, and they are just not missing. Olaf Meister rewards himself by picking up the big green gun, although it's actually orange and yellow in this case, with that lovely Asimov skin on. 9-1 is the score, and again... Navi, we see them going for a really expensive buy, seized with the auto sniper. Guardian has got that orb, and they've got three M4s elsewhere. And but you know, I don't know what's going on today with the CS:GO matches. We saw a 16-0 in favour of Epsilon against online bots, and now we're seeing Fnatic just decimate Navi. And it's like we're just having bad luck with games here, and like you know, they they don't want us to to be casting for too long tonight. Kind of, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Some teams are coming in really hot, and some teams aren't just awake at all by the looks of it. So here we go, Guardian, hopping down mid, look at this, uh, Zeus has uh, managed to boost himself up in this opening right here, if I can make my way to it, hold on, whoa, this is weird, alright, forget that, I actually went into the third person camera and tried to go to uh, wherever Zeus was, but that didn't go to <laughs> the bomb is at mid, we've got Flusher, who's going to be the fanatic player, to hold outside of B. And as far as the CT setup's concerned, there's just a, an interesting 2-2-1 split where Seize is all by himself on the A-bomb site. Zeus and Edward up uh, up close and personal at mid, whilst both Starix and Guardian go aggressive at B. And this is good that they're going aggressive at B. It's allowing them to scout out outside of B. They have realised that no one's there as the CTs begin to rotate. Now Guardian falling back to the A-bomb site. Saw there were terrorists at mid, and he's going to gamble on this. He's all eyes on main. But you know what, Chewy Fnatic have read them like an open book and absolutely fooled them. They've completely fooled them. They're going to the opposite bomb site. Starx is going to be the first man to find that out though and we can see him at the top here. He's going to get naded. Lovely shot. And that's him down to 52 HP and JW will shut him down with the AWP. Nine seconds left on the clock and it's going to be a three versus two retake coming in here for Na'Vi. The bomb gets planted with only five seconds left. Guardian takes down Crims with the AWP but JW shuts down the auto sniper. And now Guardian is left in a one on two situation and he's got limited time to do it. JW's been on fire so far with that big green gun. He's going to get caught at the top. Pronax shuts him down. And as you said, Fnatic read them like a book. Knew what to do. Made a lovely rotation onto the B-bomb site and got the bomb down with relative ease. And they're already on double figures here. Na'Vi with only one round on the board. And uh, as my body buddy Josh said on Twitter, Na'Vi are just getting wrecked. Get underscore wrecked. Wrecked. Who were the odds in favour for for this game? I'm not actually quite sure. Um, I think it would have been pretty 50-50. Relatively so, but I, I don't know. I didn't check CSGO Lounge beforehand, I'll be honest. So I, I didn't see who the favourite one, but we all know who it's going to be in favour of now. Yeah, Fnatic and anyone who's put 
their skins on Fnatic, I'm sure you'll be happy about it. We've got Frims, who's so far been a headshot machine. Maybe just about jinxed it. He'll have called that Edward is hiding behind yellow. That nade goes over. JW with the CZ gets the kill. And Seeds is going to go aggro. And this is looking good for Navi. It is indeed. Flash is going to pick up Zeus there, so that's going to lead things into a three-on-two situation. And we can see that bomb is actually, I believe, in A main at the second. And there it is. It's going to start coming out now. Pronax, that man with the bomb. He's got to be careful, though. He's going to find that player. That sees down to 14 HP. Finishes him off, and at the exact same time, Olaf Meister is going to shut down Starix, that is. 11-1 is your score. And kind of like, you know, what's going on for Na'Vi here? They're just having an absolute shocker. It looks like they've they've never played cash before. To, to keep it quite simple, um, it seems like they try to go aggressive. It doesn't work for them. Like they try to play it passive and try to play really really deep. It doesn't work for them. JW getting boosted at mid. Lovely shot from JW. But look who it is. It's Edward, the man who uh, is arguably married to the USP as far as Counter-Strike titles are concerned. And he knows that there are Swedes at mid. He uh, will know soon that there is a Sweden main. And Chewy, who's your money on? Look at this. Zeus has come from behind. Oh fails to capitalize on it. And that sums up Navi's game so far. Does indeed back and forth frag zone this round. It's going to lead to a three on two situation. Made that all up to Starix here in a one versus two. And this has just been a crazy round. We saw that push round the back into mid. And still, Crim's got a shot. And how the hell did JW do that? Down goes Starix. I shouldn't really question it because we all know what he can do uh, with that lovely orb. And he just shuts down the round and puts Navi to sleep once again. But that really, again, should have been another round in their favor. When they're pulling off flanks like that, in getting the opening shots into people who are stuck in mid and starting to close in on them. That should be the time for them to capitalize on the round and shut everything down, and they just didn't do it. So, Seized is going to just give himself some dual Berettas and try and do something with those for this round, and uh, we actually see Starix with a Famas, but they have got the opening frag here. Onto Pronak, Flush is going to go down as well, so could this be the start of the second round on the board here for Navi? I hope it is, because, you know, they've got to put up a fight and they've got to do it now. Well, uh, you're right, they do have to do it now, but I do think it could be too little, too late for them. Four, five versus two, so barely count. Crims is outside of the A bomb site, going back towards main slash T spawn. And I'd like to see Navi, you know, start pushing their positions, holding some uh, up close and personal angles. And the uh, no, Guardian's gonna. Who uh, it was Crims? He's gonna go down, leaving Olaf one versus four. He has an AK-47. Let's go and take a look at him. He spots one to his right. There's someone in the vents. He's going towards CT spawn where Starix is. Oh, Olaf knows exactly where he is, but nah. 12-2 as expected. Um, Navi, I mean, I know it's their second round, but welcome to the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, they're going to go for a double up setup here, and it's quite interesting how Navi are finally able to get a, you know, a round on the board when they only have like a, you know, they don't have exactly all the guns that they wanted in the world. Hey, we've we got 1337 viewers. Hey, I like that, I like that. But uh, Seize only had dual Berettas, and I believe there's only a Famas on Starix, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, and still, they managed to pick up the round. But when they've been having auto snipers and, you know, the best setups possible in terms of weaponry, they've just not been able to capitalize so far. So he's just going to find JW, though. And here we go. Navi is starting to show what they're made of. So it's a 5 versus 4 situation. Zeus has got to be careful though as he's been knocked down to 14 single points of health. And it's going to be interesting to see how the orps come into this round because obviously Flush has picked up that one that JW dropped earlier on I believe. And Seized and Guardian have got one each. So we'll see if those guns are going to play any damage whatsoever. Crim's knocked down to 5 HP and now he's got to be careful as well. And I've got to say, although things could go either way, if Navi don't close out this round I'm going to be very very shocked. Yep, here we go. Guardian, the man open at mid. He's, he's played that position you know, time after time again. Fnatic know he keeps playing it, but the thing is they don't want to challenge him. Because again, he is so good with that AWP. I remember him back in the Source days. Bloody hell, he was unstoppable. He used to get up close and personal, a bit like Kenny S does nowadays. He'd treat it like an M4 or an AK-47. And let's see what he's going to do now. He knows that the T's are trying to infiltrate mid somewhere. Starix goes down far too easily. And now Crims is going to rally the troops into the B bomb site. Down goes Juice. Nailed in the head. And it's three on three. 
And I don't like the look of those two orps on the Navi side trying to take over this B-bomb site, Chewie. No, I don't. And, uh, you know, Crims is just showing again what a phenomenal player he is. It doesn't matter to him that he's only on 5 HP. He just pushed into that B-bomb site like, hello, I'm here, I'm going to make an appearance. Got a lovely kill onto a player in checkers. And it was easily able to get that bomb down. Uh, we do see now actually going to get finished off. Peranax down as well. It's all going to be left up in the hands of Olaf Meister here. He's going to get caught and he does go down. And that should be a relatively easy defuse. Guardian was already on the case. And Na'Vi just about finishing that one out. But, you know, let's put it into perspective here. Uh, that wasn't the easiest retake in the world. So, unfortunately, we've got an auto disconnect. I believe that's just because of uh, yeah. the servers that haven't yet. It's the ESEA. So, hopefully, we'll be good to go.